We all know beer is big business in Colorado. Craft brewers pocketed $2.7 billion last year alone. 7 News reporter Mark Boyle stopped by a new brewery, proving any beer enthusiast can go big with their hobby. We always have lots of time to talk about wouldn't it be nice to have a professional brewery one day. Squeezing the sugars out of the grain, then boiling the batch and hopping it up. I used to brew beer 10 gallons at a time, and now it's, you know, 250 gallons at a time. This is just part of the process for brewing a new beer here at Local Vore Beer Works. This batch is called The Dude. This one's uh, dark, it's uh, creamy, a little bit sweet, and it's got a bunch of coffee in it. So it's a good wintertime beverage. For Andy Nelson, who's part airline pilot, part brewmaster, taking a homebrew operation pro with partner Jason Reinhardt. It is a lot of fun. There's nothing else you'd rather do. Is a dream come true. People used to always ask, you know, why aren't you doing this full time? They see my basement, 21 different beers on tap. From basement to brewery, took these guys about 13 months. That includes the full build out and clearing state and federal regulations. Now, just a year after opening their doors, Locavore is exceeding all profit goals. The two are going big by keeping it small. We brew mostly for our tap room and a little limited distribution in bars and restaurants around. Around southwest Denver and up into Denver. Localvor isn't alone. Every year, hundreds more like them are going from their garage to a storefront. Nationally, Colorado is third in both breweries and production by craft breweries. Bard Watson with the Brewers Association says there is plenty of room for competition. Last year, we counted 235 breweries in Colorado, and right now there are 312 active brewing licenses. So lots of people are opening, lots of people are in planning. And that's because there's tremendous market opportunities at the moment. And for Andy and Jason, these guys are just part of a local brewery, serving regulars who live within a few blocks of the place, but part of a growing trend all across the state. And there are room for many, many more to help fill the need. In Littleton, Mark Boyle, 7 News. And so far this year, the amount of active brewing license applications has jumped up by 70. Don't you think Ann and Eric's beer sounds like a good it's label? It's got a nice right ring. Right there. But by the way, home breweries can cost anywhere from, I think, a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand, depending on how elaborate you want to get. Ours would be simple. Yes. Mike, you in? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm in.